Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Unreal. On this episode we're going to take care of Nork's Elbow. And uh, this is going to probably be a short episode before we go into the area after this. Uh, but we've got a lot of walking to do and a bit of fighting, so let's begin. Ha, that's definitely what I wanted to do. Um, we've got a couple of these guys. Um, I'm trying to think I'm going to deal with these guys. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to be running out of uh, eight balls pretty soon, so. Whoa. Reload this. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Unreal. On this episode we are going to be taking care of Nork's Elbow. Um, another thing I wanted to mention by the way is um, yes there are some Easter eggs at the very beginning of the game and the very 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 beginning of the game. I'll display those later when they become um when they won't spoil anything. There's one Easter egg that might spoil something later, so I'm not going to get into that yet. But I also wanted to mention you can also change the HUD around a little bit. Um, and I had been changing it to try to test out what I want to look at. And I think this is probably what we're going to settle on because we can see the armor pretty well and um, everything else pretty well. So I think this works. Definitely want to take care of these guys. There we go. We got really lucky there. Um, there's going to be a lot more um, mercenaries down here. Uh, we got really lucky with that one, though. I actually got very lucky in this episode. I usually am not that lucky. Um, let me see what I want to do. Because we got a mercenary down here. Um, he spotted us. I was going to pistol whip him, but... Let's see how the dispersion pistol works, but before we do that... Oops. Let me charge it up a little bit. Oh, that may not work. <clears throat> Let me get out of here. We'll get some health soon enough. Hello. Haha, <laughs> bye bye. That might hurt him enough. Yeah, there's not much you can do down here. It's gonna hurt. Um You know, that's just the way it is. Supposedly there's a primary fire that I forgot about. But whatever. A stinger his ass. This is one of the more mobile mercenaries. They're really annoying. This isn't the last we're gonna see of these guys either. There we go. Let's see we got everybody else. Okay, good. Like I said, this might be a short episode. Um, I'm trying to debate how I'm going to stitch everything else because the next couple episodes, some of them are easy, some of them are short, some of them are not so easy. Um, so yeah, like I said, I wasn't worried about the uh, health because I got a super health in here. So, and also you can kind of light up the room. See, with your uh, dispersion pistol. So you don't have to use a flare if you don't want to. Next three areas. This area is short, the next area is somewhat long, and the area after that is very short, but very, um, very active. So I'll figure something out for you guys. You're just going to have to deal with segments that are a little different. And that's something else I've been thinking about the Let's Plays, so let me know if you're still okay with this. What I've been mostly doing, instead of trying to limit my videos to certain time periods, I try to section them off uh, so that the videos actually um, so that the videos actually correspond with particular levels. 
And I do it that way because not everybody's going to want to watch the entire Let's Play. Some people may just want to watch a walkthrough, and this is kind of a walkthrough. And they may just want to view certain sections. You know, they may want to only look for help and, um, like Nork Selbo, for example. So that way I can title it a certain way. I don't have to create a table of contents for a YouTube description anywhere. It's easy to find it. So, and that way I don't have to do comical names for everything. And I think uh, this will work. And if it gets too long, I'll divide the episodes up a bit. But I think this will work for viewers. So, not everybody does it that way, but I think I'm going to keep this convention for a long time. I like it. It's easy for me to find out what's going on, too. Um, especially if I'm having to go back into the Let's Play and I can't remember if I got an Easter egg or something. Or I showed anything off. That was really a waste of um, ammo. I'm just going to use this. We got him. Believe it or not, sometimes I actually have to go back into a level to try to figure out, you know, hey, did I get this? Did I get that? Um, so there. And here we've got a cool little area. Got a mercenary. I ho oh god, he had to do that. These guys are the most annoying guys in the world, I, I, I swear. I should probably stop using the 8-ball. The, the mercenaries that turn blue are usually the thinner ones. Uh, but anyways. Over here, this is pretty cool. The drawbridge lowers. And we could go forwards and deal with these mantas. Well, we've got to deal with the mantas now. The birdies. Yeah. The fauna's starting to attack us now. But anyways, we could go forwards into this area, or we could go down here into the water. Look out, by the way. There's a couple of bad fish that'll hurt you. So, and if you uh, shoot in the water, I think they'll be alerted to you. So, watch out for that. Okay, our armor's good. Our health is somewhat okay. We're going to need every ounce we can get into the next level. And here's kind of not really that much of an Easter egg. I knew about this for since I played it because I just like to explore. These bite fish, they suck. Ow. Don't hurt me, please. And here we get a whole bunch of ammo, the ASMD, good stuff. <laughs> so it's a little message there. That's kind of cute. Uh, now i got to deal with these biter fish. You can kind of deal with them this way. And deal with them that way, but um, yeah. Damn it, they bit me. They don't take away that much of your health, but... They can get pretty annoying. And by the way, if you want to tread water, you just have to kind of hit space and it'll kind of uh, jump. So. There's also, I think, uh, there's nothing on the other side. I'll double check, though. But that's the main secret right there. So they're you're gearing us up. They're giving us a super health and armor and all of this fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. There's another secret I wanted to see if I could figure this out. If you double jump, you can do that. It's kind of a glitch. You normally couldn't j uh, walk up the edge like that, but if you kind of do a, a dodge strafe left and hold it the la hold on the last button, you can kind of jump up there. Um, yeah, that may be useful for getting to some other areas later on. But anyways, we need to move on. This episode is going to be short. I'm going to stop it before we get to the next area. Or while we get to the next area. But first, definitely want to get this. And we can go either way. This is a little switch. This just lowers the drawbridge if you wanted to lower it, I guess. Uh, but I think this is a good spot. We have to go either right or left. And um, I'm going to stop right here because this will be uh, this will finish out 
Nork Salvo. So I need to practice uh, the next area quite a bit before I record it to make sure I get everything right. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for your patience and have a good day. Bye.